Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Carlos D. I'm an artist from Los Angeles, California. In this video, you're going to see me at the drawing table creating some art. The video is not intended to be instructional, but informative and entertaining. If you learn something from the video, then that's awesome. Joining me today for a casual conversation is my friend Jaime. Today is actually the first time we meet. We're been connected through uh, mutual friends and uh, it's gonna be a, a cool first conversation ever so this is awesome I mean thanks for taking the time to join me brother thank Appreciate you for having you. me my pleasure uh, before we get into the conversation dude I just want to touch up on what's happening here in the video yeah so uh, as you can see I'm using the greatest sketching tool on planet earth a dry erase board <laughs> I've never seen anyone use it I never, and I don't know why, dude. That is true. That's true. This is, and it's a big, it's a big, uh, it's a big board. I think it's like two feet by three feet. Yeah. But as you can see, I'm I'm going over this sketch intentionally this way. I already kind of have like my final design in yeah. mind, but I wanted to do this to show and share with the audience uh, another tip or whatever. Somebody decides to to have a crack at it. See how fast you can move, man. Yeah, that's actually. This is about 15 minutes long each sketch. I do it three times and then the final on yeah. paper. But this is just fast. And if, like, for example, you you like the design, you just take a picture of it, right? And right then just yeah, kind of yeah. keep it and stash it, dude. You're not wasting paper. You're not, need, you know, you don't have the need for it. That's actually true. So I highly recommend it, man. If, and again, watch, dude. It, 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 after this, all of a sudden, there's going to be all these videos like, oh, well, yeah. Just, <laughs> well, I that, discovered and you're like, man, remember you saw it here first. Yeah, and, and, the way, <laughs> and the way that I'm seeing it right now, I'm like, you know what? If, if you start drawing on whiteboard, and spray something over it to save let's say you you, look, you, ha you have in the museums you have your canvases you have your uh, piece of wood uh -huh. uh, people have drawn you know you have your canvas but nobody you, maybe in the future you'll see a carlos <laughs> in the museum his whiteboard with your drawings you can Very be the you can be the first one that has a canvas which is actually a whiteboard and things that you have drawn very true man very true yeah. dude. Awesome. Be the first, and I experienced it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, dude. That's awesome, though. But uh, so let me ask you about your uh, artistic background. I noticed on uh, Instagram you had posted some um, older, older uh, paintings that you've yeah. done in acrylic. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? When did you first get started in painting? Um, I first started drawing. I think I was in kinder, and I, awesome. I, I started drawing the Muppet Babies. Oh, sweet. That was, dude. And I, I remember the. I think it was Kermit. That was the first one that I ever started drawing after that. I can I continue to draw things I saw on TV, okay, or in magazines, and I from there I was oh man like you were drawing them from memory or you yeah or from, you from memory awesome dude okay. so I started drawing them from from memory and I just started drawing all the time and um, it wasn't until like growing up my mother was like hey you know your your grandmother was an artist oh wow and um, awesome. yeah she 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 was telling me that you know she did a painting and she, when she won money that was back in the day that's awesome and um, so I I from that point I. I I found out that I had in a, you know, it was in my jeans. You sure, know? sure. So I don't know if you see my bro my brother's art. Also, it just it comes through all of us, and we're like, you know, my brother Rudy, which is a tattoo artist. Yeah, George has mentioned uh, his his yeah, artwork. Yeah, he draws my my brother Eric the same way. Awesome. We all have we all have a, a a different thing, and for okay. me, I just started drawing everything that just came to mind. Sure. And later on in life, I was just drawing weird <laughs> uh, designs that, you know, which you know, little gears that. When you put them all together, then in the end, when you zoomed out, yeah, they they became something. Oh, that's awesome, dude. So it just it just started from there with painting. It just came later on. The same during the same uh, area, maybe in middle school. I um, started with acrylic. Um, okay. With oils, it was one of I I found it as hard. Like oh, you need to do this and this and that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really didn't test um, oil paint until maybe after high school. Um, but it all started very young, actually. It uh did you did you have an art class in high school? Yeah, well I took every since from from middle school to high school and in college, I always had to enter the uh, art class. Okay, because uh, I was just I always loved it, so always I was always there and um, trying to draw whatever I could, uh, anything I was passionate about. It was just became easier to draw. You sure, know? sure. And like um, and one thing that um I was going to draw things that I liked, but. Being in certain classes, like uh, they're like, oh, this is not art. You know, they, they put it kind of down. And it wasn't until yeah, like yeah, later on, yeah. when I was in my twenties, and I was watching a, a video from Tim Burton. He's like, yeah, my teacher said that that's not how things look. Mm -hmm. And and he and he said himself, you know what? Like, this is my style. Yeah. This was my vision, and look what he became. Awesome. And dude. that's from teachers telling him like, that's not that's not art. Everything is 
art. Absolutely. Everything Absolutely. is art. And one thing that it took me long to figure out for myself. That's cool, man. Uh, I, I'm glad you brought that up, dude, because um, it, it art is really um, like in a way you can't define it. Yeah. And art styles, um, uh, like even in the conversation with I had with Nabil, like we, you know, we talked about uh, Rick and Morty, right? Like yeah. they're it's such a simple thing, and and yeah. these these guys, yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna put their artwork in a museum, yeah. or, but but in a way, uh, artwork is is like the artists get some good energy by other people appreciating it. Yeah. And yeah. now the way you appreciate art is by seeing a cartoon on the yeah. t- TV. Like yeah. that's the right. It gets out to the most yeah. a large amount of uh, population and, and it, with Tim Burton and his films and stuff. I mean, of course, the nightmare before Christmas, yeah. his aesthetic yeah. is, is that film. And it's like super cool, man. I mean, it's, it's a classic dude. That, yeah. that movie's going to live on forever. Oh man. yeah. Absolutely. Every, <clears throat> every Halloween or Christmas, I have, I have to see you it. Have to absolutely same. It's, it's one of it's one of the things when when I was watching one of the videos where you're saying that you're you're more of a weirdo and that mm-hmm. I connected with it because I'm also a weirdo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like awesome. All the other like the styles and you know the things that are kind of like drying off the uh, how do how do they say it? Um, coloring off the, the line. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's always been uh-huh. me. Like I always like the weird. Uh, I appreciate the the lifestyle art. Mm-hmm. But I was always like more drawn to like Picasso. Awesome, yeah. You know man. Picasso, uh, yeah. Basquiet. Um, awesome, dude. All those uh, artists, even because uh, I work, I work for Kaiser. Okay. And they have a uh, a lot of paintings. And I see like one of the Miro paintings. And I was like, wow. I was like, <laughs> I don't know why it's simple, and most people are like this art. And for me, it was like it. You have a feeling, a connection to it for some weird reason. Like this, like in my eyes, like this is, looks awesome. How fascinating is that, right? That yeah. something that is not a representation of an object or a person yeah. can transmit information yep. to you, right? As as a, as a as the person experiencing it. Yeah. For me, um, the one artist that blows my mind the most that has that effect on me is a Mark Rothko. Oh, Those paintings of just f- c- colors yeah. stacked upon each other. For some reason, I I love those man, and yeah. I can stare at them, and and I'm, for some reason, it 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 it, it just I'm drawn to them. Yeah. Uh, I think they're awesome. I think they're fantastic. Oh, they're great. And and they're, again, not you know it's, it's that abstract expressionism, uh, movement, <clears throat> but it's, it's strange in a way, man. Yeah. It's strange. You really can't explain yeah, it, right? Like, how can you tell somebody? Well, that looks like a little kid did that. Yeah. Yeah, wow. for some some way somehow this human was is able to by this artwork project something. Yeah, and I'm feeling it. Yeah, that's fantastic, dude. That, you know that uh, artist, uh, what's the Pollock? Yeah, Jackson the one that Pollock. just you know that. Yeah, he just smeared style. like mm-hmm. even people are like, well, he's just throwing anything. No, but when you when you when you really see it, you're like the way that it, he just simply does something. And it creates this wonderful shapes and patterns that I agree. You know, you can't understand like why am I so uh, attracted to this painting so much? You you know what I um, when when I look at abstract expressionism, <clears throat> which is that movement Rothko Jackson yeah. Pollock, um, I feel like uh, like they were trying to say something, yeah. right? They were trying to say, man, forget forget what we thought art used to be, yeah. right? Uh, classical realism whatever all this stuff man forget all that and and i think if uh if you know more about the artists and 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 that movement at that time what they were doing it's almost like a like it's a piece of history yeah it's changing the the face of art at at their time when they were doing all that yeah and and some way somehow they were able to express some kind of emotion uh with with jackson pollock's style um, uh, with him, I, I suppose, like he wasn't successful until he died. I know, which a lot of the artists, which unfortunately, yeah. like Van Gogh, you know. <laughs> and I think um, then it was different because they didn't have so much publicity, right? They don't, yeah, they don't true. have social media. They don't yeah. have the availability to go out to the public. Is, is now, imagine quick. if they actually had it, oh, man, dude. <laughs> that would have, that would have, yeah, they would have gone worldwide, yeah. dude. Absolutely. So, so it was, it was easier for, for. Um, artists like Picasso, um, 
Salvador Dali that that oh, had this Dali. exposure, right? Like the more exposure, yeah. and those two guys that were, um, they they like to push people's buttons. Yeah, yeah, they, and and absolutely. and any publicity is good publicity, yeah. man. And it got it got them very successful in their in that's their what life you, stuff. that's what your style of, of painting um, the faces. Yeah, the first time I saw him, I was like, "This has this guy has a mind of uh, Salvador Dali, which awesome, a lot of eh? his stuff. I'm like, I really, I really like his stuff. You know, there's a lot of um, I see a lot of people's art, and um, and I'm like, and I'm not a fake person. You know, I'm not gonna like your stuff or whatever. I don't, I don't enjoy it. And when I saw your stuff, like I really genuinely like awesome. this. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. And for me, for me, is one of those, for me. I always had trouble. I always wanted to create my own style. Um, mm-hmm. In the past year and a half, I, um, to be honest, I really learned about basket uh, about, I'll say, two or three years ago. Okay. And I don't know why they brought him back. I never heard of him before. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, me following artists, like, how come I never heard about him mm-hmm. before? You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, I like his style. You know, I want to I wanna, um, I wanna kind of imitate. It wasn't until later on where, like, they said, don't imitate other people. Sure, you know, Do sure. your own thing. But then I started seeing that. A lot of people started to imitate his style. And I'm like, oh, I can't go there now. Mm-hmm. And then I started. It went back to the to where I'm like sitting down in my room. I'm like, okay, what? What's my style? What? How, how can I introduce myself to the world? Yeah, yeah. I want. I want to stand out, not blend in. So Man, I remember. Well put, dude. I, I remember. Well put. I remember going online. I'm like, how do I find my not my purpose, my my own style? And I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. finding something where it says. To, uh, choose between three artists. Choose what you like about their drawings, and then what's different in each one of them, and then connect that into your own. That's so interesting. That's why in my latest mm-hmm. post, you saw Picasso, you saw Basket, you saw yeah, Tim Burton. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's where I'm gonna build my type of uh, my style from all of them together. You'll see awesome, something later dude. on. Awesome. Um, but that's basically like everything clicked. Watching your videos, the, cool. the things that you said. Like just clicked on uh, something in my head, and we're like, like that's that's what I need to hear. Awesome. Like I said, you know, awesome. I, I manifested that absolutely that uh, reality towards me. Like I wanted an answer so bad, so passionately, um, and it just came to me. Awesome, dude. Awesome, man. That is really, uh, and, and uh, I've touched on this before. It's it's complicated, man. To right yeah. the so many artists yeah. around currently from the past um it's difficult to come up with your own style the uh i would say that's a a really good approach man what you're what you're doing dude yeah. i think you're you're gonna land on something man yeah the, the important thing is just to keep keep cracking yeah. at it dude keep cracking and it's one of the things that you know i've always been lagging in where i never for the past decade i was more like just tired I didn't really want to do it it wasn't that's one of the things that what you're doing is just great because i feed off I feed off of your motivation. Awesome. Which now since uh, since you well, since uh, Nabil showed me the first mm-hmm. um, podcast you guys did, I started drawing again every day. Awesome. Which dude. I haven't uh, which I haven't done in a decade. Awesome man. So I started noticing that you know what I have to keep. In a way, it it brought me an understanding. You know what I have to keep doing this because I had lost my um, my way of drawing. Mm-hmm. Before you know you. After practice and practice, you're able to draw, let's say, a perfect circle. Yes. And now, yeah. when I went back to it, I couldn't. <laughs> so I lost yeah. my my um, I'm gonna say my my touch. Yeah. No. So absolutely. Now, yeah. So yeah. now I have to go back to it and yeah. do it every day and basically fall in love with it all over again. Uh, that's and, it, man. And basically, like you said, you know, yeah. you have to do something, just something every day that do the work to at least you know roll the roll the ball and just to yeah, go straight. Dude. That's great, man. That's awesome, dude. I think uh, little by little, you'll, you'll, it's, it's hand eye coordination, right? With like, with, with drawing shapes. Yeah. And um, not that that's necessary. I mean, yeah. look at Jean Michel Basquiat, dude. Yeah. That dude, awesome, man. Fanta, his artwork is so cool, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and w- whenever I, um, I examine artists, uh, from the past that are my favorite i tried i tried to put myself a- at that time yeah right yeah, yeah like can you imagine seeing that you know hanging at some gallery like at that time dude yeah like what a trip man yeah. like late 70s 80s like 
the heck is that? Yeah, yeah. The, right? Which I mean, people... it would just throw you off, dude. Yeah. And, man, so it's, I, 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 those are some of my favorites too, man. Basquiat, Picasso. Picasso, mostly because that dude really changed the art. Oh, yeah. That dude yeah. was, was straight up like, he, like, um, you know, F the system and no, that no was, I'm going to take the power back. Which you, you, you notice a lot of the great artists, they were like that. They're basically like almost like rebels. They're like, no, like, yes. no, like this is what I'm going to do and you're going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that was their way of thinking. Like, no, this is like, they did not care what people thought. Absolutely. They man. fell in love with their art and their art fell in love well, with them. And you know, uh, Picasso's uh, story, um, he got a, are you familiar with Matisse? Yeah. He so, has a, he has a, he has a long drawing in, um, uh, well, he's famous for the Red Studio. I think is one of his most fam- famous paintings. Where it were, it's uh, it's kind of cubism, yeah. But it's uh, it's um, which is the one that expressionism has, that has all the walls. I think they have it in Paris. All the walls. Is that Matisse? No, I think Monet? you're thinking about Monet. Okay, Monet. Yeah, yeah. the um, yeah. the lilies. Yeah, okay, the yeah, 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 same. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, Matisse, I have, I have heard of. So, so Matisse was was at the height of his career. Um, before Picasso got into Cubism, yeah, but he's the reason why he did Cubism, because uh, yeah, Picasso true. was Picasso was showing off like like uh, I think one of his paintings that that looked like an unfinished painting. He was he was a painting some some lady I forgot her name, <clears throat> but most likely somebody he fell in love with. No, 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 it wasn't. Oh, somebody it, else. It okay, yeah, yeah. Um, the lady was uh, uh, she was the daughter of some like like a. Well, wealthy man, okay. and um, and 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 uh, she was a she was a lesbian, okay. And but like she became a really good patron of Picasso, and he was like, I I want to I want to paint your portrait, yeah. And he, like he had a crack at it, and for some reason like he couldn't get the eyes or something, yeah. like he was just stuck. He's like he like frustrated with himself. So anyway, I believe this is the painting that he ends up showing at 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 some salon, right? And then Matisse yeah. makes a comment about it. Like like thrashing him like yeah. you know, it kind of looks like garbage right <laughs> and you, Picasso man that dude was a feisty young oh you yeah know, short yeah. dude yeah, I know <laughs> and that dude was like oh, okay I got this so that's when he did the um the 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 females at at some parlor or whatever it's, yeah, yeah it's that one yeah. with the tall the, that's the what mechanism. I heard that's one of his uh, his first ones that was the first yeah. one that was the all all because he because Matisse opened his mouth dude. yeah yeah so he was like and, and Matisse was like the respected dude yeah right. So he was like, "Okay, man, I got this, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you, hit you with something." Yeah. And man, changed changed the trajectory yeah. of the art world, man. Yeah. So, for me, Picasso is just a badass, man. Yeah. Like he's just. Um, I like I like that he's he wasn't only a painter but a sculptor, and um, yep. and I, I know that you do some sculpting as well. Oh man, I love um, sculpting, dude. And uh, he was very well rounded in a lot of things that he did. Um, but yeah, he he had he had the mentality where a lot of people, that's why a lot of people felt because they're worried about what other people are gonna think about them, and a lot of the great artists they didn't. They're like, this is my art. It, it's almost a, a a strange mentality. Yeah. Right. Like like man, how can somebody get to a point where you don't care about? It? It's yeah. almost like like that's not normal. And, and in a way, yeah, it's yeah, not normal. And, and that's where I'm at in my point right now because a gotcha. lot a lot of people tell me like, how can you not care about? I'm like, I don't because in. The, I've been in situations where, like, I should not be here. So my mentality completely changed. Um, in my late 20s, you know, I had an accident, and it went to the point where I'm like, you know what, I can, one day I'm here, the next day I might not be here. So, and, and I, started, I started to realize people are not going to come with me. When I die, I'm alone. I'm there. I'm, I'm as, I'm solo. As far as we know. So when, yeah, so that's pretty much that's true. Yeah. So when when um when it came about, um I just stopped like just worrying about myself and following my own happiness and uh putting love into my own thing and just share it with the world. Man, what uh if the average human can reach that state of mind, dude, yeah. how much a relief is that yeah. to your your you're just way of experiencing life, man. Like, it, once you get there, it's just like, oh man, like, it, like I've been waiting for this moment yeah. for so long. It to feels not like care. It feels like a superpower. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would agree. But at the same time, it's weird. It's weird to have the mentality because 
I've noticed that a lot of people don't like it. Mm. And there's a lot of times where I have to kind of like dumb myself down. <laughs> so they okay. so they won't like, you know, you have I to kind of like be in the radar. I understand. Because yeah. they'll see it as like you're being not snobby, more like, oh, you don't really care about. They, they take it in another way where it shouldn't be. So right. sometimes I have to be around their level and basically talk like him. But inside my feelings, I'm like, I, I really don't yeah. care. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm beyond that. It's, and it's not about cockiness. It's about my confidence is in another level where, like, I want to take them to me, but they're not there yet. I, I, I think uh, in, in your mind, you're thinking, like, like maybe if maybe if I lead the conversation in this direction, maybe they'll catch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they don't. Then yeah. it's like, oh, okay, I just want to walk yeah. away. Right yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. So it's it's those moments, dude. And for me, um, now I I really truly uh, avoid any to, with my family, even bro. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, mom, dad, it, if they want to talk about. Uh, you know the uh, unfortunate things about, the, yeah. You know the family, this and that. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And now I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll walk away because I mean it's really, I, uh, I can do nothing about it. Yeah. And I know, you know, family just gossips because it's yeah. it's just kind of human nature, yeah. and I get it. Um, it's nature for them, but if you notice, it's not nature. It's, you're like me. It's not nature for us. We've overcome that. Yeah. For, for, yeah. for for us, it's more about uh, how can I say it? Like for me. When it comes to something happening and me having a feeling towards it, I'm like, okay, so but where is that going to lead to? Why where, where is me being depressed, me thinking about stuff? Where is it going to lead to? No. How about, does myself off? Okay, let's go. Beautiful, man. You know Beautiful, what I mean? dude. That's what it is, man. My philosophy is how is this going to affect me right here, right now? Somebody else's problem? Oh, well, I can do nothing about it. You know, my best wishes. I'm going to go back to drawing. I'm going to go back to sketching. I'm going to go back to... I would rather just stare at the wall yeah. than to listen to bad news or anything yeah, because yeah. while I'm staring at the wall, I'm imagining all this cool stuff in my head, man. Uh, Ninja, yeah. yep. Ninja Turtles fighting He-Man and, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> dragons and all this kind of stuff. Man, yep. uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd rather enjoy myself with, with my own imagination that way, you know? So, and people, people don't get that. And when I explain to them, like, you know what? Um, bringing it, them to our level, they, they just don't, don't get it. Oh, I just can't do it. Like... You can. It's un- it's uncommon, yeah. It's uncommon. It's 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 not normal, really. Uh, there's there's a, there's a post that I'm yeah. gonna send through IG where um I think he's a comedian and actor, um but he talks about sometimes the universe gives you the glasses that um that allows you to see the world the way it should be, but the thing is that you cannot share that with anybody else. The universe shows you, and that's it. And then you cannot unsee what you saw. That's interesting. Okay. No, and I, I, I looked at it. I'm like, that's how I feel because I see the world in a way, in a way where I'm like, well, how come I feel like I actually truly understand it, and other people don't? So I have that feeling. I'm like, am I the only one? Am I going crazy? <laughs> and that's why I always been wanting people around my area. I'm like, I don't want to be the only one. You know, like sure, sure. But then I feel like I'm, I'm like losing. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is how you feel about it, but having a notion like that, it's almost like. Like, you want to spread the good news to people. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, let, let, let me tell you what I found because I feel so much better about life in yeah. general. Uh, but it is unusual, man. It's yeah. unusual for somebody to be so calm yeah. under pressure, to be so stress-free under yeah. drama. But it, yeah, you, it, it takes an effort un- unless it, uh, one day you just wake up and, you know, you just kind of like, uh, I'm gonna stop caring about everything. Yeah. It usually takes a little bit of effort. Like yeah. somebody's seeking, like, like why, why am I stressed out about this? You know, and yeah. they come up across books or, or yeah. motivational video or yeah. something like that. So hopefully, man. And I think, uh, like I shared with you earlier, is that uh, the reason for these videos is uh, I want to s- share the positivity that I, yeah. I I'm able to yeah. um, to whoever's seeking this kind of. Uh, vocabulary this kind of ideas these kinds of um uh, may- maybe new ways to see life in general not just yeah. art but life in general uh i wish i could straight up like like share a piece of my mind with yeah. everyone so that you, so that everyone out there can appreciate life yeah. the way i do man because this is an amazing thing man yeah. this isn't whatever the heck this is this is amazing dude we could have been cockroaches man yeah yeah you know that's true but but we made it it's yeah. like yeah we made it dude yeah this is like we're, the lottery you know what i mean self-awareness yeah creatures man 
and that's an awesome thing dude so that's what very um i like learning about the human mind because you know you have your conscious you have your subconscious and uh the things that you know you're held back and you don't know about like why am i feeling that like when you see a person like i kind of like that person Mm-hmm. Like you have like why like, without knowing them without knowing sure. you know, I just yeah. don't like that person mm-hmm. and you they find out like no they might have similarities about somebody but you don't know it in your brain and it's weird how the brain it, it fascinates me how us right now in our um, day and age still don't know much about the brain you know what I mean it's like amazing and dude. it's one of the things that amazing. is cool because we get we yet get to explore more of it very cool and all yeah. the possibilities absolutely I'm the same, dude. I mean, the the mind is a fascinating thing, man. Like to to be able to do the things that um, I've experienced, and later on, I'll show more of, about my personal experiences and stuff. But um, I think the most beneficial thing for the average person is is to to try to like calm the mind as much as possible, yeah. because it is, in my opinion. Uh, impossible, impossible to calm the mind completely. I've, for me, uh, as a person that I feel like I have a high level of self self awareness and and I'm positive about anything. The ideas of good and bad, yeah. they don't exist for me. Yeah. Everything is exactly as it should be, yeah. and my goal is is within reach, and I'm just moving toward it, yeah. and that's it. Everything that happens to me um, is is a part of the 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 road that i'm on yeah and um but but this good and bad like you say you know e- even meeting someone that just rubs you the wrong way uh the mind is playing a trick on you yeah until yeah. you meet the person and yep. until you say like, hey oh man i like the same stuff man right and, and it's funny because all, all all my closest friends um i never liked them they're the ones that yeah. they didn't like in the beginning Interesting. you know like I, I i was basically well back in my well i call it back in my past because my, my, the way that I think about it now is completely different you know I'm straight up a positive person I like helping people um, I like I like sharing um, basically just a, like good like you say good news I don't like Absolutely. talking about bad things there's no need for it um, useless and useless. Uh, for me it's just it's one of those things where just, I, I just like sharing I like helping people and that's, that's awesome. always been me awesome dude I forgot what was going with this. <laughs> That's all See, good. Because my brain just keeps on going yeah, and going, man. and I want to say everything's coming out at once. Sure, sure. And, uh, we have time, bro. We yeah. have time. It's all good, man. No. We'll, we'll definitely have more conversations, dude. Yeah. Um, but it's... Uh, it, it, if, if anyone gets anything out of these conversations, yeah. uh, videos, whether it has nothing to do with art, yeah. as long as you experience either calmness from a stressful day yeah or or a spark of positivity cool cool take yeah. it run with it and and yes. and expand it expand it because life is an amazing thing yeah. if you can like build up just a, a ball of positive energy within you yeah. whereas you don't need anyone else from the exterior yeah what will happen is that you'll start attracting people with the same similar energy yeah. and your life experience is going to be even more amazing absolutely and then you're going to be a positive influence on others too yeah. you know you we're just sp- spreading the good vibes man and this is what i see about <clears throat> what you're doing um and where well, you, have you seen the walking dead uh, i have not seen the walking dead no um well the tv <clears throat> show you know they're trying to contact other people around okay um you know they, they have their uh the what are they called um they're trying to reach somebody else that might have a microphone or whatever. Okay, they're using yeah. like a, like a, yeah, long distance radios. Yeah, or whatever. that. Okay. And so they're like, you know, <clears throat> trying to find uh, somebody that's like them, you know, like, hey, are you guys alive? So oh, to speak. Okay. But I see what you're doing in a way like, there's people out there that think like us and they haven't found us yet. And looking at these videos, they're like, oh man, man it's, it's, those are my, they're there. I've been trying to find somebody that, you know, that, it's in my level. And, hey, hello. Hey, here you we are. It. How's it going? You nailed it, bro. Yeah. You nailed it, man. And that's why I see of what the things that you're doing because I've been for years. I'm like, am I the only one? Why am I? <laughs> am I? Why am I so special in in a way where I'm able to be aware of mm-hmm. what's going on? That's awesome, dude. You know, it's uh, it's awesome that you 
you picked up on that, man, because this is this is exactly one of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is a signal. Yeah. This is a radio signal calling everyone out there yeah. that is looking for this. Yeah. A part of what I'm doing is a manifestation of other people's desire to hear this from somebody. Yeah. Like somebody, can somebody please tell me a real person, not yeah. not somebody that's on TV or somebody that wrote yeah. a book and maybe they're just trying to make money and yeah, all. yeah. But in real life, actual human that has experiences these things. Yeah. Um. When I when I first uh, arrived in Florence in Italy, <clears throat> I met a friend there who was from Venezuela, but he was living in Florence for for probably like like eight years, eight, eight or all something right. like that. He's a tattoo artist as well, Vladi. Um, my my friend from uh, Florence, uh, we um, we started uh, the Angel Academy of Art at the same time, and we were doing our first projects. And uh, you know, for lunch, we was like, "Oh, what are you doing for lunch, man?" Yeah. Right? So you you kind of build friendships or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, so we got we got we got closer, you know, yeah. as as the time went on, and little by little, uh, it, it's funny because I could kind of tell that he was like 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 throwing like words out there yeah, to yeah. see if maybe like like I knew what he was talking about yeah, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like I would like oh okay cool so you know something about that and now I would kind of like share my my thoughts on it right yeah and so we we got to uh more like a metaphysical let's say conversations right yeah. and then one day he was like man he's like I always wanted to meet somebody that actually like was doing this stuff like yeah. let's say manifesting or or experiencing these things yeah. man he's like I, I always wanted to like really meet somebody not 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 just somebody from YouTube yeah, or this yeah. and that you know and but a, a real actual person and, yeah. and I'm like well okay well mark this off on your list yeah. you see you did it yeah. like you did you you manifested this experience man and um the more the reason why I speak so confidently especially about that manifesting is that I have so I have such a list of so many things that have come that now fruition. I'm just like, I know for sure. Like yeah, you, yeah. You, you brought up the word having faith in knowing that it's going to happen. Yeah. Right. I have no doubt yeah. because I've, I've tested it and I've tried it and, and, you and see the proof. Man, so you've I, seen I, the proof. I keep either, either I'm the luckiest man on planet earth yeah. or, or this is a real thing being able to use the mind. Yeah. I'll take either one, man. I'll cool with, well, like, I'll cool yeah, with like, one, bro. Like for example, this 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 encounter right here, I'm gonna be writing about it because it's Beautiful. one of the things like it's one of those things where like I know that I manifested this because I've been trying to search for somebody um, with the same mentality, you know, start with you know like Nabil and people that are around that level. Like I can straight up tell from the from their actions, from the things that they talk about, like Octavio and Nabil. Mm-hmm. I when I started talking to them, hanging around with them. I understand like all oh, these are guys are on my level awesome you know what i mean yeah. somebody that can understand what i'm what i'm talking about but no I, one of the things that for me and like that's um i like what you did and where like you went after your your dream and passion of going to really because not a lot of people are willing to leave uh a good uh, a good job with benefits and all that stuff for for something like that they'll be like that's crazy but you understand yeah. when that be, they don't understand passion about something. It's it's one of the things like you have to take that 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 leap and where um what what did who, who was that uh, history guy um where he said that um something about luck favors the brave um fortune uh, favors the bold is a, a common like a some, Greek like, um, yeah yeah oh, I forgot the name of it I keep hearing it but it's <laughs> it's kind of that like some people are just afraid of it and it's something that what 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 ends up happening is happening. Is that something that that leap can lead to something great if people don't want to take it? Absolutely, man. And you know, uh, on on that note, uh, another angle to see that is that if I have the ability and I don't do it, yeah. like man, what well, what a what a shame! Like what yeah. a coward in yeah. a way! Like yeah. what a cowardice thing to be able to. In my my uh, personal life. When I when I did this big change, I was able to. Yeah. Not in a relationship, no kids, no, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Nothing really confining me or or, yeah. or 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 other responsibilities where somebody could say, um, like like you you're being selfish, yeah. so to speak, right? Yeah. Um. So, and I considered all these things, man, and I'm like, I can, and if I don't, 
that that's a big loss to humanity, man. Yeah. That's a huge hit to humanity yeah. to, for for somebody to be able to and you don't. Yeah. That that's that's a cowardice move, man. So I, I'm uh, and I I and, couldn't not. And I feel I and I feel I feel that on you, um, in my occasion and we're like. I can draw, but I'm not drawing. I'm like, I'm not sharing it with the world. So I beat myself up. I'm like, dude, you have a talent and you're not using it. You're going to waste your, like, if I go out tomorrow, I'm like, that's, I'll, that's a waste of my talent. You know, I was, I was given a talent that a lot of people don't have. Mm -hmm. And, and for me, it's like, I, when it comes to wasting time, I'm, that for me is like a big deal breaker. I don't like to waste time. And one thing I always hang on to is, balance when it comes to the world awesome. balance has always been my big thing that's cool dude that's why when when with anything anything is balanced that's why i never see a person that is going through something and you know they have an attitude i'm like you know that person might be going through something that we don't understand you never know so man. absolutely they're like oh you know mm -hmm. if this person in, in my head i'm like i i can't do that i can't i can't say that about him because i don't know what the hell he's going yeah, absolutely, through absolutely because every one of us has gone through something and we're like you know, like uh, we might act that way. Yes, absolutely. So it's, for good, me, it's man. always about just just balance and gain to know first before your actions like speak for them. Awesome, pure. Dude. That's a good way to be, man. Uh, to really uh, be thoughtful yeah. about n not just what you're saying, but what you're doing too. Like yeah. really, like uh, I, I've done this uh, meditation exercise, dude. When I was, I went to go uh, during the summer break when I was in Italy. I went to go visit a. Uh, uh, a couple of friends in Bulgaria and when I was there I was there um, just to get like my workout on there yeah. was like a little like a jungle gym kind of like yeah, a yeah. monkey bar setup right <clears throat> but it was pull-up bars and pull-ups are my favorite exercise so uh, on but the, the the ground the floor was just like all rocky like just just rock built yeah. up and uh, I don't know why it just it just came to my head like uh, the idea of like walking on coals, you know, like yeah, a lot yeah. of people do that, right? Like, yeah, I see the power of the mind walk on coals. I've never done it myself, but <laughs> um, uh, I just thought to myself, like, what if I I walk and it was maybe about like 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 a ten foot um, little path. Yeah, you know, it was wasn't long at all. But I thought to myself, like, what if I walk barefoot on these rocks all the way there and all the way back and just pay attention? Yeah to every single make it an attempt to pay attention to every single cell yeah. that skin cell that's making contact with these rocks yeah. and th i did that like as, as a meditation thing dude yeah. just i just barefoot just one foot at a time yeah. and i applied slowly the the pressure of the weight of my body you know onto my left leg onto my right leg but in that moment like I, I I don't recall any like anything coming into my ears, any audio yeah. signal, no nothing, man. Like my focus was yeah, like you're crazy just, right you're there. You're one with dude. it. You're one with nature. And I was just like, at, at the beginning, it was a a, a little painful, right? You, yeah, I'm barefoot, yeah. you know. I'm not used to it, yeah. right? You know. Um, and and then when by the time I turned around, it was more like kind of like when you're getting a tattoo, yeah. or like you're getting a tattoo, you know, at, at maybe it's different for everybody but uh i feel like a, a irritation at the beginning yeah. right and then at some point and maybe maybe one goes in and out of it but at some point you're you're kind of like like the pain isn't there you, yeah you feel a contact yeah. of something with your skin and your bones are jittering but but there's no pain and yeah. there's a, a strange numbness and that's what happened in that moment yeah uh, a strange numbness where all i wanted to do was focus on my goal of paying attention to my steps and like there was no discomfort i was just like like okay okay my right foot is next okay slowly transfer the weight over and you see how yeah. i'm explaining every like dude i'm telling like my mind was like cycle focused on doing this thing it was just a random thing man. Yeah, 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 yeah i didn't so to speak gain anything from it but i no but that's but the, being there yeah that's the beauty about the things that you do because people don't do the this there's a beauty a beauty and a big huge understanding in the little unorthodox things that you do very true dude you know what I mean? very well said. and that's what you were and that's what you were um you were doing because i do some things like that it doesn't make sense you know what i mean awesome. things that i go back into being a child and a kid playing and just not worrying about anything awesome and i meditate off of that awesome dude that's a great meditation man and because I, I was on my way from work to my house 
when I was listening to um, you with your cousin, you're talking about, you know, was it your cousin? Or, yeah, yeah, my cousin. For today, about yeah. meditation. Um, and uh, and I, I was passing through my old elementary. And wow. because of what you, the things that you said, I stopped and I walked and I looked through the fence and everything just stopped and I was just visualizing myself when I used to be a little kid. That's awesome. Playing dude. in that ground. So that basically was my medit like you know I haven't meditated in a long cool, time dude. so you get meditation from anything that you absolutely man mm -hmm. yeah taking the trash out yeah I mean it could be something if uh, if if you if one realizes that we're standing on a rock yeah. we're floating in the middle of outer space going who the heck knows where and all these telescopes that we've sent out right mm -hmm. look, look look you know five billion light years over that way and there's nobody you know yeah. Nobody's saying hi back to us. Who the heck knows what's out there? But that in itself is just amazing, man. So to think that I'm standing, I'm floating in outer space. I am floating in outer space and I'm taking out this trash. Yeah. And what's going to happen to it? Like, I, I suppose maybe that's just the artistic quality that yeah. some of us have, right? That we just like can find something amazing about anything. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> but that is, we can share that and, and, and we can let others know give it a try yeah give it yeah. you will see that it does something to your mind it yeah. does something to you it's a strange comfort where maybe you don't want to go back inside the house because you know yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what's gonna happen yeah. in there you know you're like Man, let me take another trash bag yeah. out but but to take advantage of those little uh, 15 second 20 second spurts yeah. of calmness yeah it's totally worth it man it's totally worth it and it's weird because you know a lot of people use um a lot of different things um, to feel comfortable, to feel to feel peace, and there's this, there's been times where I'm go outside, I get a baseball, throw up in the air, and I do that, and I get more peace and comfort from just throwing the ball up and catching it, and then throwing it up. the simplicity of that. That's awesome, man. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's, just, it's life, man. It's the there's, mind, there's, life, everything. There's, there's no um, uh, <clears throat> there's no one trick that that does it for for everyone I mean, yeah. find find your thing yeah. like speaking directly to the audience find something tell tell someone tell a friend or tell a family member this is the thing that i find joy in yeah like 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 say it yeah. say it out loud tell somebody if you don't know what it is okay tomorrow i'm going to tell somebody what i find joyful yeah. about life in general yeah and if you have the ability to do it more often yeah. if you don't have the ability to Find out how you can do it more often yeah. because your peace, your calmness, your your joyful experience of life, it's going to rub off on people around you. It's oh, going to, yeah. it's going to, your environment is going to change. Yeah. Literally, it's yeah. going to change and your, your experience is just going to be better. Yeah. I've seen that, I've seen that happen where like you just attract the same type of energy and it was, well, especially at work, you know, there's been times where like, you know, people are not, they're, they're, um, their energy is just off, mm -hmm. and I stick with my positivity. And all of a sudden, I've had an experience once where somebody, one of my friends, came to me like, "You know what? I was feeling down, and I was like not having the energy." And you just came and went like, "Hey, how's it going?" And that touch, like, like lifted me up. Awesome. I'm like, "What? What did you do?" I'm like, "No, nothing. I was just, you know, hey, how's it going? Feeling cheerful. My my energy was up. My my positivity was high, and that's all I did. And awesome. And that's when I started having a bigger understanding about, you know, the, the frequency that in the the aura, whatever you have, that you know, whatever it out. is, yeah. it's it it. Other people feel it. Yeah. Whatever the heck it is, absolutely, man. Uh, energy is probably the best uh, definition for it, or or the best way to uh, identify that yeah. thing. But it, it 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 it's it's awesome that you do that, man. And I think uh, if uh, if everyone um, did that, like 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 had a a task of right right like uh, i think the um, kind of running joke or, or whatever is like oh i did my good deed for the day yeah but literally like literally every day like do something good yeah do something good um and, and trying to figure out like how like how i wanted to like to close out these videos or whatever you know i was thinking about like yeah you know what, what good words to say yeah. and um i i had in mind i don't say this now but i i had in mind to say uh um when at any opportunity you can 
be kind to the people that you know. Yeah. And to the people that you don't know, be even more kind. Yeah, yeah. Because that... I've had the experience where a total stranger has has done something nice for me, like yeah. either like like paid for my food just unexpectedly, yeah. Yeah. and it, it, it's it, it's such a like a like a mind bending experience, man. Yeah. Because like what like do I know this person, right? Yeah. Like you, you're trying to find out the reason why somebody's being so nice. Yeah, <laughs> where yeah, where where someone being just genuinely nice because they just kind of felt like it. Yeah. Uh, it throws you off, right? Yeah, it it's, does. It's it like, does. Like, why? Yeah. Why? Like, it, it, it almost like you're. You, I, I don't know if, if it <laughs> if this is the common response, but it's almost like you kind of feel a little guilty. Like, why? Why? Yeah. How do I deserve this? You know, yeah, well, you, of of all the self judgment, right? Yeah. Like, like why? How do I deserve some stranger being just nice to me out of nowhere? Yeah, and it's it's one of the things that you don't know if. Oh, in, in speaking for myself, because I, if I were to have that experience, I would have been like. If, am I feeling guilty because that's the way that we really supposed to be with each other and we're not doing it? Or is it because um, life is just, uh, the universe, life or whatever, it's sending me a message like, hey, uh, you need to be in that same type of frequency. So well, that's my mind that's is a always, good way to contemplate yeah. that, dude. And, and that's cool. and it's actually in this Starbucks oh. where something that happened to me where the person in front of me paid for mine. Wow. And I was feeling the same thing. I was like, you know, they're like, well, why? Because we're not, in today's world, we're not used yeah, to that. You know uncommon, what I mean? It's like, absolutely. It, you know, like, what do you want? You know what I mean? Uh, amazing, right? Yeah. It's uncommon for yeah. humans to be nice to each other. Yeah, it's, that's, that's puzzles me. <laughs> it's strange, man. You know what, dude? I, I would like to share uh, um, a story of something that happened to me that caught me off guard, and I literally felt something in my body, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I think it was somewhere around like 2016. Uh, I had moved to Burbank, and. Um, I started like started going to this tanning place. Yeah. Right? I like to tan, right? Yeah. You know, like to just you know, stay sexy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so after the gym, I would go to this tanning spot, and um, when I first signed up, the gentleman, uh, the owner behind the counter, he, like, if when you mentioning that there's somebody that you just kind of like rubs you the wrong way. Yeah. So it was it was that situation. Yeah. He for some reason I, I I'm like. Man, this dude doesn't seem too friendly, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, no big deal, man. Again, I don't know what he's going through. Yeah. You know, maybe he's having a rough time. But okay, I'm not gonna be, you know, too, you know, joking around with him. Yeah. So I'm just, I'll leave him to himself. But I just like, yeah, hey, I'd like to sign up this and that. So he's like, okay, cool. So I filled out the stuff, and then I went in there about maybe three other times, and I kind of got the same vibes. Like he would just check me in and say, like, okay, well, how much, how would, how long would you like to go? Oh, okay, oh, okay. Like real kind of yeah. down to business, right? Yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, oh, that's all good. I respect that. And then I think after being there for like a month or something like that, yeah. um, and I would just go like once a week, right? So I, I wasn't seeing them too often. But uh, one day I get out of the out of the tanning session, and he's like, uh, "Hey, um, were you planning to 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 come more often or something like that?" He got my he caught my yeah, attention, yeah. right? And I was like, um, uh, no, I, I, I kind of like, you know, how I'm coming in. Just yeah. kind of like once a week, you know, I'll just hit the gym and whatever. If it's convenient, then I'll come in. And he's like, okay, because uh, uh, the the package that I'm currently paying for, he's yeah. like, you're kind of like not getting everything out of it, man. It'll be better for you if you just kind of like take this lower tier one or whatever. Yeah. He's like, you'll be saving like 20 extra bucks a month or something like that. Yeah. And that threw me off, dude. Yeah. Because here was a, a guy who, in my mind, I'm just like, oh, this, you know, yeah, yeah, he's not too friendly. He doesn't yeah. want to chat or anything like that. He just wants your money. Yeah, he's yeah. just like there for, and for the business owner to tell me that I'm giving him too much money. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Uncommon, unusual. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I thought to myself, like, damn, like, wow, like this dude, like, totally surprised me. Yeah. I walk out the door, and dude, I feel this like ball of energy in the center of my body dude like where like let's say where my heart is yeah or where like the heart chakra yeah, would be, like, yeah. let's say right right it, it just started to not if i say burn somebody's yeah, gonna say oh yeah, yeah. Dude has some heartburn yeah, you know? yeah. like go take some medicine you know? people, that, people that haven't experienced <laughs> yeah. that you know? yeah but but it was it was this this like warm energy ball yeah. like in the center of my chest exactly down the center and dude, and that like it threw me off. I'm like, and and I don't know if this is exactly what happened, but I made the connection that that this dude g 
gave my body such a shock yeah. from from just this experience that I had of 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 saying I totally got this person wrong yeah, from, yeah. from my you know my yeah uh, my first impressions of him and he did something nice for me uh, when when I thought he was like yeah wanted nothing to do with me right yeah yeah I, I at least I make that connection dude but it was an amazing thing man yeah. because it was. Um, it, it it was just a, a cool thing, dude, and I was like, like wow, man, this is like yeah. I feel something in my body because of just at least like, that's yeah, what I yeah, think, no, right? yeah, that's... because of just what what just happened, yeah. and I just thought that was awesome, dude, and and no, that's like, man, I that, think that, that has stuck with me for a lot, for since it happened, dude. Yeah, that, that's more that's more of an experience like where where it, you, you in in that sense, it's incredible because. You already know in your mind, your, your mind has said that, hey, this person's like, ah, whatever. But when he, when he did what he did, it, uh, I think it brought like almost like great joy, like a, it's like a present, like something that you, something greater than something physical. You know, when I say it was, well, it was physical, but in a way, it's more like the energy of it was so great that it just completely like opened your mind. You know what I mean? It, it, it absolutely did, man. It was, uh, it was an amazing experience. Um, at, at that time, I was already kind of a... Yeah, I've always been a positive person, but yeah. but I, I had... The reason why I say the chakras, because I kind of like um, had looked into the study of yeah, like yeah. the yogic system and all yeah. that stuff, right? And, 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 I, and I had been actively meditating uh, probably since the beginning of that year, and that was like in the summertime, so probably around like January. So yeah. I... I uh, I don't know if it was a result also from like my practices, yeah. right? That I was doing like my session, meditation sessions and stuff. And I could do that to this day, dude. I'm, I, I could sit down and focus my attention, like focus my awareness on a specific part of my body, and I could feel heat forming there. Yeah. Um, and I, I developed that through practice, and I could still do it, and I do it occasionally. And I don't know if there's any benefit to it or not, but I just think it's cool. I yeah. think like if I were to get put like under a like a thermal graph or whatever, you know, you'll like, see it. Yeah. I, I I'm. I know I could do it, um, but I, I'm curious to see what that would look like if if, if I'm really doing something. And, you know? and you'll you'll see that you'll you probably are creating this energy field in, in you because I've had an experience where I went I went with my father-in-law to um, uh, they call it Reiki. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And there was I'll say about 15 people. Yeah, like healing hands and stuff like. Yeah, that. and they're all like master healers, and I was in the center, and and I always been good with visualization you know okay. having getting myself into that feeling awesome so they had one person at a time going to the like uh you're, you're sitting in a chair and you're basically uh just visualizing um a gold light coming down on you okay yeah so you're kind of meditating with everybody else yep, and yep. um my sister-in-law was with was with us and she knows that one of the master heaters was looking at me she was like doing this and she's like that afterwards she 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 talked to the master healer and she's like how come you were, you know, all these, all these, I only saw it to him, which was me, like, you were, like, grabbing something, like, his, like, and she... Yeah, and unconsciously? That, I was just, like, meditating and visualizing it, what, what they told okay. me to visualize. Yeah. And, and she and physically... And then your arm started she, she, No, she physically... Oh, I see. ...was, like, going like this. And, oh, okay. And then she explained to her, and she explained to my sister-in-law, well, your brother-in-law was visualizing something, he, his energy field was so big, mm. I was trying to get some of, like, like... Basically, more like sharing. Like, okay, I I can feel that. Interesting. And it's one of the things where like I can feel it just growing, mm -hmm. and that's what I under I understood, and where like I feel like I had that power. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Especially from a person like this is a master healer. You know, sure. she's seen a lot of things, and for her to to be like, whoa, well, like well, like you're not you're not there, but you have this power that you can create, mm -hmm. and I can see it. And um, from there, I had a, I had a my experience about. You know how meditation and how the mind and everything you do just awesome comes dude. together. Awesome, man. There's a there's this YouTube channel called New Thinking Aloud. Um, the older videos are are some of my favorites. The ones that uh, he has um, uh, he brings on well, persons that are are uh, or have done in the past like these studies, like yeah. actual like clinical studies yeah. of of uh, healing methods. Yeah. And um, they're really interesting. Uh, they're all docu they're they're documented, 
and there are some of them uh, the persons that have written books yeah. about all this stuff like the the body's healing and all this yeah. right and um, I like those conversations he also has other conversations on there his name is the Jeffrey Mishlove um, I've seen every single video on there dude when I was in Florence I saw yeah. every because I was like literally like man I'm sitting in on on some fascinating conversations yeah. about the mind about um, uh, like neuro linguistics yeah. about um, about remote viewing about the government's remote viewing program uh, what other topics uh, philosophy yeah. uh, a lot of uh, Plato stuff but those topics fantastic man fantastic dude I'll, if, if you I to check find out, that man. interesting Man, I, I I used to sit down for for breakfast, one lecture, bam, and then get into painting, and then yeah. at, at nighttime, one more lecture, and then go to sleep. That's how I, so I saw the videos, man. And just fascinating, the really consciousness expanding stuff. Yeah, yeah. R really, that's what really I'm useful, looking for. Dude. Yeah. Really, really useful stuff, and it's just information, right? Yeah. I, I don't know if most of of ideas out there, unless I've experienced them myself, it's just information. Yeah. And cool. If I find it interesting, maybe I'll dig into it. But um, I, 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 I find the information interesting. And uh, now I just, I'm just, just stuck in joy, man. Yeah. And I, just, I yeah. just enjoy my life, everything that I'm doing. If I can help out family, friends, or anything uh, in any moment, I'll do what I can. That's but right. the best help that I can offer to anyone is, is to be a good me. Yeah. Is to yeah. be just a, a joyful, life-experiencing me. Yeah. And that energy in itself... To friends that I haven't spoken to in in 15 years, yeah, I I imagine that I'm having an effect on them, yeah, and that's it. I don't need to ever see them again in the rest yeah. of my life, but if I'm being uh, a person that is experiencing a joyful life experience, yeah, um, I think that is that's doing it, yeah, that's doing it. No, and that's that's also true because well, that's the way I see life, in where I had really close friends. Now I haven't seen them in just 15, 20 years. And the way that I see things like that is like somebody they they we have served each other's purpose with each other. When they when they arrive, they arrive for a reason and when they leave, it's time for them to move on. And that's that's the way that I've seen a lot of my friends when they come and uh and, and they and go. The, well the, the future's still uncertain too. Like, that, still that, possibility. That, and that's why I never say bye. Even yeah. when a person's like, Oh bye, that's you know, cool. I'm gonna go to another state. I, I have that feeling that we'll see each other again. <laughs> cool, cool. We'll see man. each other again, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm just weird possibilities and and I think uh that's a good way to be man is 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 uh is leaving it out there for the possibility oh we'll see each other again yeah you know more than likely it'll be on good terms yeah right for a positive experience well now around. more than ever especially being a media yeah cool well uh this has been an awesome conversation brother absolutely man. I mean I enjoy outstanding it. dude I, I'm glad I'm glad we've connected, you know, through our friends that were expanding this circle of friends that are yes. like-minded, dude. Yep. This is this can only end up in positivity, man. This is a big only. step, man. This is uh, creating the wheel for the first Absolutely, time to view. Absolutely. So to the audience, I would like to say thank you for hanging out. If you enjoyed the video and you want to show some love, the best way to do so is to pick up some merch, get yourself a t-shirt, hoodie, or some stickers. A link to the shop will be in the description below. If you would like to contact me for a commission, you could do so through Instagram or email. And lastly, feel free to share the video and spread the word about the channel. I greatly appreciate the support in helping the channel grow. Uh, Hyman, would you like to say anything in closing? Do you want to share any social media or anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, you can find me on IG, um, uh, underscore, crossbones, underscore. And I will be creating my podcast. I'll give more information to... Um, and through my Instagram and through you, Carlos. Awesome. Uh, to let you guys know in your audience. Um, and yeah, uh, hope to see uh, some of you guys that think like us down the future and talk to you guys. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Well, thanks again, man, for taking thank, the time, bro. Thank you very much. Appreciate bro. it, man. It was fantastic getting to know you. Yeah. Session, man. This is awesome, yeah. dude. Uh, to everyone else out there in this amazing spiral, take care, enjoy life, and be kind. <laughs>